Welcome to Brohalla, where the focus is on gaming, fun, and friends. Uh, today we've got uh, Scott back from Gen Con. Um, we're going to get some filming for here for you for War Crow, uh, which is Corpus Belli's new fantasy game. I'm going to turn it over to Scott here. I'm Matt. This is Scott. Hello, everybody. Well, let him talk about this because he's the one that uh, was there for this. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, as Matt kind of alluded to, we're going to talk through Corvus Belli's uh, newest fantasy game, fantasy skirmish game, uh, War Crow, uh, at Gen Con. And right now, uh, pre-order is the War Crow Wins from the North uh, box. Comes with these 14 models you see here. We're going to go through one of the scenarios uh, that comes in the booklet along with uh, the release. One of the things I do want to mention is it normally comes with uh, a paper mat here. Uh, to be used specifically in the narrative that comes in the booklet, but for ease of recording and to reduce some of the, you know, like the, the reflection, we're going to go with the, the vinyl mat here, and we've kind of marked off the exact same size there. Uh, Matt is also going to be using, you know, we've got the, the standard measuring tools and widgets that come in the box, but we are also going to be using uh, the Warsenal specific uh, acrylic ones as well, just to kind of show those off. Uh, the vinyl mat is from Mats by Mars. It's who I use for, for my 3x3 and my 4x4 gaming mats. Uh, in the booklet itself, uh, we're going to be using Scenario 2. There's several uh, other folks who have done videos on Scenario 1, so we're going to jump right ahead to uh, Scenario 2, kind of get a little bit more in depth into the mechanics of the game. Uh, if you are interested in War Crow at all, uh, right now the this starter box you can also get the full and complete rule book. Uh, the, the rules itself are free online at warcrow.com under the, uh, their download section, but it does not come with the over 300 plus pages worth of lore and fluff about the world of Linworm, which is in this book. And I believe if you order that and that, they also have the limited edition uh, Allwart Ice Bear. Uh, available right now, limited time for that pre-order time as well. So, please take a look. Wow. I'm sure there's plenty of uh, pictures out there. We can also kind of put it out on our Discord and Facebook. Uh, some more of the, you know, like closer, sure. high-definition pictures that Carver Spell has posted out there. So, thanks for joining us. Let's jump into scenario number two in Winds from the North. I'm excited. So first we have the unit of Orc Hunters. The Wise Mane has joined them, so he is attached. Al Bork, the leader of the uh, Orc half of the Northern Tribes. And we have the Spellcaster, the Evoker. Uh, deployment has already been uh, taken care of uh, for this scenario. Uh, I'm Matt, I'm going to be playing the Hegemony. Of Embersig. Of yep. Embersig. Um, I've got a unit of Black Legion Bucklermen. The War Surgeon is attached to them. Then I have Drago, the Anvil, and uh, Frostfire Herald, my mage over here on the end. All right, so we'll be playing scenario two, uh, the Mirror of the Wasteland, uh, which is here inside the Winds of the North booklet. This is the narrative, uh, the Path of the Spider. Uh, we're just gonna, like I said, skip ahead to scenario two without giving any spoilers on scenario one. We're just going to assume that neither Matt nor myself actually uh, uh, scored any of the objectives in that to carry over to this specific uh, scenario here. Uh, for this scenario, we are allowed to attach support units to our, uh, our standard troop units. Uh, officer units we cannot attach, so our high command, so Albork for the Northern Tribes and Drago the Anvil for the Hegemony of Embers, it cannot be attached to a unit for this scenario. Uh, we do have a, like a, a pond or, or a pool in the middle of the, the, the board. There is a uh, red objective uh, that we need to interact with, and then there's a blue one on the other side of the map that only our spellcasters uh, specifically can interact with. Things can happen, we'll see what happens uh, if either one of us gets there and chooses to interact with it using a specific skill, spending a skill. Uh, this game will last three rounds, and each of those rounds will be broken up into three distinct turns. So it'll be a total of nine different turns when we get to the end of each round. We'll talk through specifically all the different steps that need to occur in order to check for scoring. Uh, whichever one of our armies or forces captures the red objective at the end of each round, we'll be scoring military points. We'll see what happens with the blue one uh, if one of us picks it up and interacts with it. See you on the board. All right, so the Northern Tribes 
uh, have gotten initiative, so they have chosen to activate first for this round. Yep. So when the uh, that choice is made, it stays that way for the entire round. And okay. Whereas activation or uh, initiative at the beginning of the next round chooses which side will activate first. Okay. And just so our viewers mm -hmm. know, we did our deployment off screen um, and rolled for our initiative off screen. So that's how he ended up with Thank you. the yes. initiative. Uh, so I'm gonna start by activating the evoker. Evoker's gonna move for the f first declared action. So I'm gonna uh -huh. do three uh -huh. and two. And then I'm going to move again. Ooh, fancy. Up to here, and then activation token on the card. To you. Um, I am going to, I guess, start with my uh, Frostfired Herald. And he is going to move. Talk to me about crossing the... Oh, uh, yeah. Stuff. So anything that's a linear obstacle, as long as you do not stop with your base directly on it, mm -hmm. um, then you can pass over it through the movement. Okay. And are these blocking line of sight or anything like that? Uh, no, but if you are touching it and there's ranged attacks against you, you will gain extra um, defense dice based on specifically what those obstacles are. And I'll, I'll pull up what those are if it comes into play. You know, essentially, <clears throat> like if it's a fence or something like that, you add a, you know, a black die. If it's a, a brick wall or stone wall like this, you're going to add a blue or you're going to add a green or something close. like that. You're trying to see if you can uh, fireball me? Nope, I can't. Fire uh, was it Fire Blast, I believe? It's Fire Blaze. Fire Blaze, thank you. No, I can't. You're not within 12? No. 12 strides? Nope, just... Uh, okay. And you said I can go over it? Yeah. As long as I don't... Yep, as long it. as you declare move again. And the reason he's checking yeah. there uh, for the viewers is you're able to measure anything at any time in a game of Warcrow. You know, essentially to see if what you're about to declare is an eligible action. Boom. All right. Done. I'm going to activate it as this guy. Yep, right? activation token goes on this Boop. card. Got it. And because we both activated, that turn is over. So we're going to move the turn counter. Yep. To two. Yep. And let me put my glasses on here so we can see what we've got here. All right. I am going to activate the evoker again. So because that is a unit that is already uh, activated, so ha by having the activation token on it, at the end of this activation, it will gain one stress. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am going to declare to move as the first part. I want to be in contact with it. And then the second skill, I'm going to cast Summon the Rock. Target enemy unit, unit within eight strides. Let me make sure you're, you're not. So that means I need to boost it. Yep. So in order to boost the spell, it'll have a range of 14 strides. So you can see we are within 14 strides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it costs one black die to do, which I'm going to ask you to roll for the uh, the face-to-face -face roll here. Yep. And I, yep, that's all I'm going to do is that one boost. So now I need to roll. And now I can try to block mm -hmm. your spell? First we need to see the face-to-face -face roll against the tinge roll, which yep. is what we're about to do now. Yep. Then if it's still successful, because that one black die has an opportunity to stop the spell on its own. Okay. If it's still going to be up, you will have the chance to block because your spellcaster is within 20 strides. Yeah. So I'm going to roll. Oops. I'm going to roll it in. My willpower. I activated the tinge. You, well, uh, no, you actually, because that hollow block symbol there, Yeah. it means I actually gain one tinge. Haha. -ha. However, because it's a hollow instead of a filled in and complete block mm -hmm. symbol, it does not cancel yeah. My success. Yeah. Now is where you'll have that opportunity to try and... Which I do want to try. ...block. So in this case, you will stress your caster. Yep. So your caster will gain one stress immediately. Is that... That's this one. Mm. Yes, it. the green stress. one there. Got it. Now you can choose between one and three black dice to try and block this. I'm bringing just that I had one. Sorry, I, I kind of pulled those dice out two. prematurely. You're going to go with two? Okay. I'm going with two. If you get any hollow blocks in this instance, yeah, I gain you tinge. gain the tinge. Yeah. I like the tinge. I and like the hollow color. special. <laughs> I blocked All it, right, but I also take tinge. But you will take tinge. It's okay. And that's A-OK. -okay. 
It's okay. Now, at that my point, because it'll be the end of my activation, mm -hmm. but because I'd previously activated, I will now gain stress. one stress. Mm -hmm. Because we're at the end of an activation, any of the units that were engaged in, you know, whatever happened, you'll you check to see if your stress is higher than your morale. If they are, you'll have to take a demoralizing check. Nope. And because my one is below the two, mm -hmm. don't have to make the check. And I, I believe yours is the same situation. Yep. Nope. All right. Uh, so that is my, my activation. Now to yours. He looks better with tinge. I'm going to activate <laughs> the buckler men. And they're going to move. Move. Up to here. And they are a 3-3 three, three move. They are. Uh, for any of the viewers that have not checked out Warcrow yet, uh, this is your first time. It's uh, all measurement there is done off of the unit leader, and then after the movement is done, the rest of the the models in the unit will form up around the unit leader within two strides from that unit leader. I need to be within how close of that? To you do? need to be within three strides at the end of your activation in order to control an objective. Well, I'll just have to move again. Let's get over. Yeah, we're going to go over there. I have plenty of movement. We're just going to. Yeah, you've got plenty. I'll be within three, but. There. Keeping in mind, if you want to, at that placement of the, the troops around the unit leader, you can leapfrog the unit leader. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, you could potentially have put someone here. Yeah. Automatically within three. Just so you're aware. Keep in mind, yeah. all of the unit, all of the models in the unit must be within two strides of the unit leader, mm -hmm. not of another member of the unit. Each base is two strides in yeah. diameter. Okay. So he's okay though. Cool. He doesn't even count though, does he? Because he's not. He a still needs to maintain okay. coherency. He just okay. doesn't add to the number, number of units unit. to, when when yeah. calculating to determine if a unit is at half strength. Got or it. Because you have ended your activation within three of that objective, you gain control of it. We're going to flip you to the, you're going to be the blue color. I'm blue, because I'm the good guys. That's all a matter of perspective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you have activated the Bucklerman, so you will put an activation token on I'm the done. Bucklerman. Yep. I'm going to advance us to the third turn, because we've both activated. Okay. I think I'm going to advance the Orc Hunters. Mm. Their movement is 3 2, and those can be done in any order, so you can reverse it to 2 3 if you like. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to move, move, I'm going to move the unit leader. That's the first movement. Mm -hmm. Second movement I'm going to do now. So I'm not going to worry about. Yeah. Moving these guys until the end. Right, right now. Right. So I'm just going to do this. Okay. Okay. Now, because I have finished my activation within three of an objective, it doesn't automatically flip mm -hmm. because there's now an enemy as well mm -hmm. within three strides of that objective. Yep. Here is where we now look at what's called the conquest value on the cards. If we take a look here at the Orc Hunter's card, mm -hmm. and for you, the Bucklerman, because yeah. we are at a unit of you know, over half strength, so there's three mm -hmm. or more orc hunters here. Conquest value is one by itself. We look at the added wise main, he adds plus one. So my conquest value right now is a two. Mine's a two. Yours is also a two. So tie goes to, it stays put. It doesn't mm -hmm. flip. You have to have more in order to flip the objective. Got it. So it will stay put. Mm -hmm. They have now activated. Yeah. Your declaration, sir. Keep in mind, this is the end of the round. Mm -hmm. We will be checking for scoring at the end of this round. End of this turn, because this is the end of the round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fortune favors the brave. Let's do it. We're going to stress my unit. Well, it will not happen until the end, end of the activation, right? but yes, so you're going to reactivate the buckler, the bucklerman, because they've previously. And we're going to charge your orc hunters. Awesome. So for line of sight, 
uh, is drawn from the active unit's leader mm -hmm. to any model in the target unit. So yeah. you can absolutely see. This yeah. does block line of sight, mm -hmm. so if they happen to all be in a row here, you wouldn't be able to see. Or yeah. if it was like, you know, a single character. Right. Mm -hmm. And my charge range Your is charge nine. range is nine, which if you take a look here. I'm well within. On yeah. the Orc Hunters card, you see their normal movement is three dash two. It's the bracket portion right here. Mine are ten for the Orc Hunters. On the Bucklerman, it is nine. Uh, so that's you know that's where mm -hmm. the charge range comes in, and because the charge happens in a straight line, uh, it'll also grant the Black Legion Bucklerman the ability to choose whether or not to re-roll all of their attack dice now on this be on the first objective? attack. No, he cannot. It blocks line of sight and takes up place space. Ooh, that's a problem. <clears throat> they can't all get within. I mean, one of them would come over here to be within. Here. Yeah. <laughs> there. There you go. It, you, you place them where you can in yeah. situations like that. Got it. Uh, it. Sorry, as I was kind of saying here about the charge, uh, he'll have the opportunity to re-roll the attack dice, but it's an all or nothing thing. It's not certain ones. Uh, so here, the attacker and the defenders gather up their dice mm -hmm. uh, based on how many members of the unit are, are there, plus... In this case, the wise main adds an automatic block to the roll. Of course um, he does. Very First and foremost, the active unit gets to decide whether or not they're going to modify any. their roll. I don't is, have any modifications. Okay. Which is, uh, specifically, you take stress yeah. or you, you increase stress by one on that unit or that character to add whatever's in that mm -hmm. specific line there. And I am going to do that. I'm going to... Modify my roll because the wise man grants that ability mm -hmm. to add one red die <laughs> to the roll. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a good roll. You now get to decide before we go to the switches phase if yeah. you're going to re roll the entire roll. Oh, I can't That's see. right. Let me move these over. So you, so you have two over. blocks and a switch. And do you have a. Does your switch automatically grant you anything? Um, no, that, that's called. So that's a special specifically. Yeah. A switch yeah. is the ability and can use any okay. number of different pieces here. Uh, the only switches I have available right now is I can actually change my blocks into successes, Ooh. which could end up doing damage back to you. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to keep my roll. Oh, plus, I'm sorry, my auto, the automatic so three. symbol that was included from yeah. the wise man. I forgot yeah, to add that in okay. there. You have three. I've got one, two, three, four, five hits. Mm -hmm. So, which I'll keep that. so anybody who's watching here, uh, this is a personal choice of mine. I like to, as you're spending symbols for switches, or if a character or, or a, a modification adds a an automatic symbol mm -hmm. to the roll, I like to after the dice are rolled, take from the other dice that I have handy, place it into that dice pool. Yeah. You know, so that so we can visually see what's my, left. My empty... Yes, yeah, so we go to switches. Uh, the, the attacking unit or the active unit yep. declares all switches the, first. The empty is going to add a block. Okay. And that's the empty... Or the, the hollow the success. The hollow success. Okay, so since it's spent, we're going to yep. flip yep. it to that so yep. that we know it's gone and yep. has already been used. And that's the only one I have. It's the only one? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, again, for the viewers, if, uh, if Matt had multiples of those, Ooh, he can continue on. to spend... And activate any of your switches as long as you still Ooh. have symbols um, to spend on that switch. And it has to match the symbol over here. So it would have to be an empty one for me to do this down here. Right? Correct. Okay. Yep. And that's also, I believe, on. Oh, that's. I'm sorry, that's on the attack roll, not the, the yeah. heal. Yep. No, nope, that, like that one. Yeah, or lets something. me give you bleed. <clears throat> All right. So then I will declare any switches. Uh, the wise main switch is, I don't have enough there. The question is, do I want to turn around and do damage to you or block and keep my guys? I'm going to keep some of my guys alive okay. uh, because I, I could have changed out a lot of my blocks mm -hmm. or any of them for hits. Mm -hmm. Yep. Simply because, it, to me, it adds a lot of flavor. Or the tribe's yeah. orcs. They really, really want to get in there. They don't care about themselves. They right. want to kill you. Yeah. I love that flavor to it. Uh, so we're going to keep it. So we're going to go to, uh, very specifically, the resolution. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I will cancel three of the successes you had, so two wounds will come through. Yep. Uh, each one of the orc hunters has two wounds. So yep. essentially that means one orc hunter is dead and is removed from play. Good job, boys. I will do and ladies. one back to you, but you have a successful block out yep. there. So I block it. Negating mine. Yep. At the end of combat resolution, because the orc hunter suffered more wounds than the bucklerman. Mm-hmm. They gain one stress. Yep. For losing the combat. Yep. Now we have the option where the uh, unit that won mm -hmm. gets to decide whether or not they want to push back the defeated unit. They do want by to push. their very first movement value. They do want to push them back. Okay. I'm glad you said that. There's one thing that I'm going to bring up here, though. Specifically, the wise man grants charisma and wisdom. Your unit gains fearless and may repeat their willpower rolls. Period. Your unit may avoid being pushed back without suffering stress. Okay. Normally, a unit that wants to stay put mm -hmm. has to suffer yep. stress, specifically to say, no, I'm standing my ground. Yep. The wise man is encouraging. He's the wise man of the orcs. Yeah. He's the ancient elder one. He says, no, boys, we're staying right here. Yep. Got so it. So they're going to stay there. Okay. Um, at the end of that is now when we check to see if any of the units that have been used here mm -hmm. have stress greater than their morale. Now, I normally would on Northern Tribes with the Orc Hunters because mm -hmm. their standard just printed by themselves morale is one. Yep. The wise man granted plus, plus one. one. Mm -hmm. So they are equal at two and two. Yeah. So cool. We are done there. Okay. Once again, we validate and check. Your unit just finished an activation within three strides of an mm -hmm. objective. There's an enemy unit also within three strides. We go back to checking... Uh, the conquest Which values, tied. it's still a tie. Boom. I just like yep. to always talk through the steps just yep. to make sure Absolutely. we don't miss Absolutely. anything. At the end of this turn, we are now and we added a special little cow marker as the end of turn marker instead of the standard one. Instead of the standard one that uh, comes in the game pack. But yeah, we just said <laughs> add a little fun, add a nice little fun cow in there instead. He made it the, the journey back from Gen Con uh, uh, Chad Bustle, friend of the show, runs an Infinity narrative, narrative at both Gen Con and Adepticon, and this one was used at Gen Con's narrative this year, so it came home with me and made the call to make it our end of round <laughs> marker today. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so at the end of the round, the very first thing is you check for scoring. Yes. In this instance, I would uh, score an MP. you score one military point because your company controls objective one. Yep. That's the end of scoring for this yep. specific one. Uh, next. We reduce stress on every unit. The only units we do not reduce stress on is if any units are demoralized, they stay where they're at. Mm -hmm. Any unit that has been activated reduces stress by one. Any unit that has not activated reduces stress by up to two. Okay. We have none of those. Yep. Now, any unit that has not activated, so they don't have an activation token on their card, mm -hmm. now gets to do what is called No One Left Behind, yep. which is declaring the move skill once, or they can choose to rest. Resting removes uh, all of the stress on that unit, and as many different states on that unit as you wish. Mm -hmm. we, none of ours have states. The player with the initiative to determines mm -hmm. which player starts activating their no okay. one left behind. I'll choose to do it first because I have the initiative right now. So Al Bork is my only unit that is not activated yet. Mm -hmm. And he will move up three and two. Okay. You get to use yours. Uh, he's going to move up two. And three. All right. We will now remove all activation tokens off of units. Mm -hmm. Before we uh, mess with the turn wheel, we check to see who has initiative. If the player that has the initiative at the end of that round is down on points, they retain it. Mm -hmm. If they are up on points at the end of that round, or it is tied, it, it would pass hands. Down. However, you are currently up yep. because you have one military point to my zero, mm -hmm. so I will maintain initiative. 
We then move the end of round marker up three turns because specifically the scenario calls out that every round is three turns in length. And we move the turn pointer up to the next turn and we start again. Yep. <clears throat> uh, because I have the initiative, I'm going to choose to activate first for the entirety of this, uh, this round. Oof, you, sir, have got me in a box here. Not really. I'm going to activate the evoker. Okay. And I'm going to move first. Let's see. Well, I am. Not going to go for the objective, huh? Three. Back two to there. Mm hmm. Now I'm within eight, so I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I don't, now have, you don't to bump have to tinge. <laughs> don't have to bump there. Now I'm going to cast spell again, so I'm going to go right back to summon the rock. Mm -hmm. Target enemy unit within eight strides. We've confirmed that you are within eight strides now. Yeah. So I don't have to boost anything, but because I do have tinge on me, mm -hmm. you will roll one black die mm -hmm. against my willpower roll. Yep. So as you start, you know, accruing tinge. It gets more and more dangerous for your casters mm -hmm. to attempt to cast. Yeah. And this is against my willpower, which is two orange and a yellow. Mm -hmm. I activate the tinge. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, activating the tinge means I believe I receive a stress. Oh, it's a little bit earlier in here. Sorry, pages are not turning. There we go. Unit is stressed, so plus one stress to that unit. Okay. So you have one I success. I have one success. So at this point now, you can choose, because you have a caster within 20 strides, to see if you would like to block. If so, you will stress, you'll stress your caster and choose between one and three black What's dice. The power of that spell? What happens here mm -hmm. is, if it is successful, I will resolve a ranged attack that is red, orange, and two yellow, <laughs> which would be rolled against your defense roll, uh, which I believe one is blue. a blue and an auto block. Yeah. And I only have two wounds. I got to try to block it. I mean, I would. So you'll stress the, stress the caster. I don't want to be stressed, but... <laughs> Okay. And you'll determine how many black dice you're going to roll to try and block. Um, we're going to go ahead and try two. Okay. Why don't you pull the other one out of your dice tray there? <laughs> your tinge is going to activate twice. Yeah. Which means you are stressed and stressed. So you are now at stress. Three. Three. Which my morale is two. At the end, yeah, exactly. So at the end of this mm -hmm. activation, which I've concluded the activation, yeah, you will now make a morale check. Well, you got to do your attack, don't oh, you? I'm sorry. Uh, it is successful. Thank you. Let's yeah. do that first. Yeah. So it is a red and orange and two yellow. Oh, I'm gonna die against your blue and an automatic block. Correct. I'm gonna die. I block. You block two. I block two. So you take zero damage. Let me make sure there we go. So you'll take zero damage. Mm -hmm. Now at the end of the activation. Now I'm stressed. You'll take, uh, you'll roll a, mer a willpower check. Three orange. And as long as you have one success, success. you're passed. Good. I'm now, okay. Now because you have attempted a demoralization roll, whether you fail mm -hmm. or pass, you will now make your stress equal to your morale. So it won't keep snowballing sure. unless I have a way to add more stress to your unit. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have activated. Activation token. To you. <coughs> we know we're within eight. Yeah, my range is seven. So oh. I want to make sure <laughs> I I'm within that. seven. Yes. Um... If I activate him, 
No, because he has not activated. He has not activated. So, so he's he, not going to increase his stress. It'll not increase his stress automatically. Right. But that's a great there question. Are, there are things that could. But there are things that could, but due to activation, he will not get it. Okay. If if you had already been activated yeah. and your stress equaled your morale, you cannot choose to activate again because you're already at the top. You yeah. cannot knowingly go beyond exceed it in yep. that man in that right. in that manner. We are going to activate mine and try to Frostfire Herald? All right. Yeah. We're gonna try to Okay. Are you gonna do to... any of the boosting from it? No, because with my tinge I'm just I'm I'm not Okay. So I will roll I don't need to boost it. I unfortunately uh, don't remember I don't remember well, what the one second one is. It gives me a Oh a, a switch, switch on your attack roll. So this is the this is the fire blast, correct? Yeah. So you're trying your uh, your ranged attack against Yeah, me. no, I'm not gonna boost it because okay. I need to So this is the one tinge roll against it. And you are safe from it. Okay. Because it is now it is still successful after the tinge roll. Mm -hmm. Now I get to try and possibly block it. Yeah, you're gonna have to block it. You know what? Two. I think we're going to. You're going to have to block two. So I will stress my caster. Yep. And I'm going to pick up, oh, sorry. So I switched from one stress on it to two, mm -hmm. which I'm allowed to do because I was yep. not at the time yep. already at equal two. Yep. So now I'm going to do. I'm choosing three. Ooh, he's getting lots of tins. I'm living dangerously. Look at all that. Well, I've blocked only one. So it's still I successful. gain a tinge. Because yep. on that roll, any of the ill effects happen to me. Yep. So I will gain a tinge. I'm now at two, and your spell is up. Yeah. All right, what is one that red, roll? One red, one orange, and two yellow. Okay. Against my, and here, I'm going to call this out very quickly. My defense roll mm -hmm. is a red and a black. The red dice are offensive dice. When you're mm -hmm. defending against any ranged attack, you cannot roll offensive dice. Okay. So my defense roll just went and dropped down to only a single black. One black. If we were in close combat, mm -hmm. then it the would, red yep. would still be used. That's not great. <clears throat> two. Two? All right. I blocked zero. He has two wounds, so he's gone. Well done. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Fire! <laughs> I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I'd cast Fireball. <laughs> well done. All right, so he is activated. He gets an activation token. Yep. Nobody's stress is above their morale. Nope. So we're going to pivot there and move to five. All right. I don't have to worry about spell casting anymore <laughs> for now. <laughs> well, it's, all your, it's all yours. Crap. Have at it. <laughs> Uh, Al Bork is going to charge. Yeah, he is. Al Bork's charge range is 10. Uh -huh. um, because he, he would get placed at the end of the 10, mm -hmm. that means really, truly, his threat range of a charge is 12 strides yeah. because the base is two strides in, in uh, diameter. We are easily within. So he is going to charge into this unit here. He's going to mess me up. And I'm going to turn it. Uh, I'll turn it this way just to... Mm -hmm. nah. Trying to fit it all in there. There we go. All right. Do so it. he has now charged. And I specifically wanted to go there instead of looking against Drago because I do want to show uh, what happens when a unit that mm -hmm. has been charged or is engaged in a combat is engaged with two units at once yep. of an enemy unit. <clears throat> okay, so first in this case, I'm going to bring up my dice. I will have a single automatic success along with a red and two orange. Uh, active model is going to decide whether or not to modify. Yes, I am going to modify, so I'm going to add one stress here, which will gain a hollow success and a special. Okay. So this is automatically in my roll. Yep. <clears throat> I'm going to take a stress, and I am going to add a block to my roll. Okay, Automatic so that's block. part of your uh, one that's of your stresses. Yep. All right, now because you're about to roll this, you get to decide one of your dice comes out before the roll. Oh. No. Because you're engaged in two, you're engaged in combat with two extra units. If it was a third unit, mm -hmm. 
you would remove two dice. And one green. die per unit beyond the first. Yep. And green are better. Blue are. Green is green is the dice that have the most chances of so green, blue, a black. Block. Green, then blue, green, blue, black, and, then, and black. then red, orange, yellow. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. That'd be. So highest at the top for most chances of success. Slightly less, and then the less. However, if you're looking for specials or other things, the lower one has a higher chance, chance of, of succeeding at that. Yeah. All right. Kill my guys. Oh, ooh. Because I have charged, I can decide whether or not I want to re-roll that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look here real quick <laughs> just to see, because I don't remember what I have here. Oh, yeah. mm. Let's let's reroll it just okay for fun. Roughly the same, but let me pull mm. in now the automatic symbols. <laughs> now we go to uh, declaration of switches, starting with the active model. Mm -hmm. Let's see. With the two specials, oh, I no. can cancel one block. From the target no, and I'm add okay. one success. I actually don't take stress to add that. Oh, that's, that's a switch. But oh. I have a switch, so it'll still come in. Perfect. I'm okay, so I've done. I've stress. taken care of that. I'm also going to spend this hollow. Yeah. Here, to your your target suffers one stress, so you'll take stress. So I'm going to remove that again because I like to kind of remove them, and I used this special already in the the previous uh, mm -hmm. the first switch. And that is all of my switches. Do you have any switches? Yeah, I had the one switch that's going to add a block in. Okay. So that's coming out. All right, so we've got five. You take away three, so you'll take two. Yep, and then with Make mine... Make sure you watch the War Surgeon. Yep, yep. yep. With mine, I, for each wound, I rolled my willpower. Double so check and make sure you read Drago's special uh, passive skill. Because he grants oh. his willpower to every unit... Every friendly unit on the board. So, so your I willpower just got a little bit better on this yep. roll. So it's I'm going to be rolling two orange and a yellow for Correct. each wound instead of two orange, right? Which is so the we're going to native. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to do no, they're native. One orange. One orange. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do the first wound. Uh, Nothing. Is it, you just roll it, and however many successes you have, it cancels. When your unit is about to suffer, roll your whip and ignore one blood for e Oh, yeah. For okay. each. Yeah, so it's just you roll it one time. Yep. So I ignore one. ignored one, and you'll take, take one, one wound. So you'll take, uh, take one of the wound. wound tokens. I don't... It must yep. be hidden over there under the, the mat. Um, you have... Yep, they are. Uh, lost combat, so you'll increase stress by one. So you'll remove the green one, add a, the yellow one. Okay. Uh, I will push you back. Okay. Um, but before that, are you over your morale? I am. Okay, so before I do the pushback, we need to check for demoralization. Yep. So that'll be your willpower, which again, because Drago is Can't on the see board, me. doesn't even need to be oh, seen. Oh, he doesn't as long need as, it's, as long as yeah. he is still alive on the board. Yeah. All right. You see at least one success, yep. and I'm you've good. got two. Yep. Okay, yes, I will push you back. Okay. So you will move backwards away from the unit. You have to be as far back from that the unit as possible. Your okay. uh, movement value, your first movement value. Okay. Now so this is where I'm gonna. It is normally measured from the unit leader because it has to be. Okay. So the unit leader goes back three. But is it from because it, he's the one that attacked. he's the one that did it? But you just you're gonna go straight back. Okay. Easiest way is remove all the other models because yeah. at this point they're filler. Mm -hmm. You'll move back the three, yep. and then place the rest of them with incoherency of the unit leader. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump oh, that. All good. But keep in mind, you're gonna you're gonna need to push him back so that you're still as far away from po as possible from the yeah. unit, so you can't yeah keep him up forward. <clears throat> so, all right, uh, we're ending in activation within three of an objective, mm -hmm. we still have, uh, so, Elbork is within three, there's mm -hmm. an enemy unit within three, but now we total up the conquest value of all units yep. within three. Uh, the unfortunate part here is that uh, Elbork adds nothing. 
<laughs> to my conquest values. So we are still tied, which means you still maintain control. Mm -hmm. I will oh, he doesn't add anything? He does not. Wow. I have activated Albork, so he gets an activation token, and it is your turn. Okay. Well, hmm. I guess we're going to activate Drago. Huh. I guess, uh... Ooh, at the end of an activation of an allied unit, an allied unit adds two to its conquest value. Mm-hmm. Huh, nice. And so that is his command ability, yep. and you'll notice that it just says at the end of the activation, any of your command abilities, as long as you have command tokens and you meet the prerequisite, mm -hmm. you can use it. How do we get command tokens? Uh, they, they're generated at the very beginning of the oh, game. Oh, so I should have so three. Yeah, you have three of them. That's your yeah, pile right here. So my okay. four right here. Got it. Okay. Um, boy, I really don't want to charge you, but I don't think I'm going to have to. <sighs> yeah, I can't do anything with anybody. In, well, in this, in, on this board right now, Drago is the only model that has ranged attacks that is yeah, not his, a spell. His ranged attack is good. It's, yeah, it's, it's not necessarily the greatest thing, but I'm just letting you know. He is the one that he's the only one on the board right now that has it aside from a spell. Well, and I'm I'm too close to you can charge me. I can, yes. So it's it's I might as well charge you and get the reroll. Uh, I mean valid tactic to me. Yeah. So we'll charge. All right. I got eight inch or eight stride. Yep. Move to the end. All right. And I, I guess I'll go after huh. I was gonna say if you could fit through you can choose whether or not you want to go against Elbork or against the yeah, Orc Hunters. I don't think I can get to the Orc Hunters. Yeah, I can't really get to the Orc Hunters. Can't hunter. quite? Okay. I think I'm, I end up there. Oh, which he cannot be on the objective, yeah. so he's got to stop at yeah, Elbork so himself. Okay. Okay. So we will now gather up the dice. Yeah. Two red. Two yellow. And the active and model will decide or active unit, excuse me, we will decide whether or not they're going to modify their role first. I am. Okay. I will as well. Because that gives me one of these. Okay. That gives me a red and an automatic success. All right, there we go. Now you get to decide whether or not you would like to re-roll. <clears throat> if you do, that orange die comes out, right? Because those, those were yeah. granted as uh -huh. uh, automatic And he's got symbols. elite, so his empty's going to count, right? Yes, we both have elite, so I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, any model with the keyword, any unit, excuse me, with the keyword of elite can choose oh, to, like uh, three. to use a hollow symbol and treat it as filled in. And that is that decision is made uh, before uh, switches because you can make that. You I'm gonna make keep that it. Change. I'm gonna keep it as. Keep it as is. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, switches to you. Uh, I'm gonna do my switch by spending that one and that one. Okay. And you are gonna get the vulnerable state. Vulnerable state. All right. So I will be vulnerable. Um, any unit can only suffer from the same state once. Okay. So if you were to do, you know, if you had the symbols to do it again, mm -hmm. it would do nothing. Okay. Because you could only suffer from it now. Absolutely. Uh, it will not come into play during this combat. Mm -hmm. Any future combat, yeah. specifically with vulnerable, in which I am rolling a defense dice, it'll come into play. Okay. And we can once we get into that, we can talk. Yep. Talk through it. All right. Uh, do you have any other switches? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, let me look at. Yeah, he's only got the one switch. I have no switches. So let's go to combat resolution. Mm -hmm. I have three blocks to how many successes do you have? Five. Five, so I will take two wounds. Yep. And I have thrown back at you two. And I block one of them. You block so one, so you'll one. take one. Mm -hmm. So in that situation, because Albork uh, received more damage, more wounds than Drago the Anvil, mm -hmm. he will receive stress, mm -hmm. which will put him equal to his morale. Okay. And you will now make the decision yeah, I'm gonna of whether try or not you yeah. want to push me back. I do want to push you back. All right. Does so, he and have at the this point, to not 
Uh, if because I he, had because room he, to yeah. stress myself, I could no, have added stress to No, I was just wondering if he say, had the same thing that the other not. guys. Nope. Okay, yeah, I'm going to push him back. All right, so he will go back three. Mm -hmm. Three strides. Yep. Now, you can choose to follow up by also moving the first movement value of your movement. So if you also have a first movement value of three, you're right back into engaged combat with me. No, I'm only two. Here. I'm only two. <laughs> and that's, so I want to call that out right now uh, because we've talked specifically previously about when you declare the yeah. move action. Yeah. You can reverse the yeah, order in which you do it. In this case, it is yeah. only ever the first one printed nope, on the card. Nope, I am going to, I'm going to not follow up. Fantastic. Because I have to go after him, right? I can't like Correct. follow up Correct, you can't going follow up into the other unit. It okay. has to go against yep. Drago. Yep. So. Okay, so you have activated, go ahead and put the activation token on his profile card. Yep. You're going to move up to the next turn. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to activate the Orc Hunters. And the reason yeah. for that is because I cannot reactivate yeah. Albork. Because, of his, because stress. his stress equals his morale. I yeah. cannot, he's not even an option for me right now. Yep. The question, though, is whether or not I want to go against Drago or against the Bucklerman. I think I'm going to say the Bucklerman. Yeah, they've got more stress going on. Yeah, I need to kind of make them run away. So, yelling and screaming at the top of their lungs, the okay. uh, orc hunters will charge directly into. And we'll just double check here. They've got a yeah ten strides. We're well oh, within. Yeah. yeah. So it has to be a straight line. Okay. So I'll bring the leader in. Got it. He can come around to here. Okay. Come around to here because he's attached to the unit. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to go to there. Yeah. So I'm going to gather up my dice. God, I'm so screwed. Here is <laughs> here's where we talk about uh, adding stuff in. At this one point right now, though, I am going to spend one of my command tokens that mm -hmm. the wise man gives the ability to. It's called the Voice of Experience. When your unit rolls attack or defense, fix the result of one die from your roll. Okay. I'm going to pick the red die. That means you choose what the result is. I choose? I. Oh. Whoever's using it. When, like, you, when, when you fix it, so on the cards, Yeah. yeah. anytime the card says you or your, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you, the player. It means, right. it means you, you, that that unit. Unit. Okay. okay. Got it. So we're going to fix that die as is. Now we get to declare if we're doing any of our I any modifies. I don't have any switches or modifies. Uh, I will modify. Of course you will. Uh-huh. Which gives me another red to the roll, mm -hmm. and an automatic special. Okay. Oh, I'm going to re-roll that. Nikes. That's bad. Because of the charge. That's so bad. Uh, it's almost about the same. Yeah, but you got so many automatics mm -hmm. that I, you're, yeah, I know. you're smoking me. Now we move into the switches phase. Ouch. Um, I will give you vulnerable for this. So it takes two successes. So again, I'm going to turn that to count it as being spent. Uh, any switches for you? Yes. <coughs> Is that the filled in special? Yeah, it grants a yeah. block. Yeah. Okay. Does it take one or two? Uh, it takes one. So can I, I do it? But I can do. Oh, it you get as, as long as you still have symbols to spend. Absolutely yes. Okay. Absolutely yes. And my empties don't do anything for me. So three, four, five, six, seven coming in. Mm -hmm. Three are being blocked. stopped and blocked. So four come in. So four come in. Each one of your models in the unit has two wounds. So yep. two models. But I get my will go away I get after my, your war surgeon after roll, war which surgeon. is roll the willpower. And it's because Drago's on the board. Unfortunately, no uh, successes, so all yep. four will come in. Yep. So that'll be five. So that's two of my models. That will so go yeah, away. just two models will, will disappear. Um, and and just so you know, and so all the all the viewers uh, know here. A support unit, you can choose whether or not they are removed as a casualty at any point in time. 
the war surgeon is a support unit. So if at any point you want to try and keep your unit operating above half strength, you know what? You can choose to do that. I just again, it's oh, just so yeah, that everybody no, is aware. No, I think I'm, I think I am going to do that because we've got a whole round left, right? We do, we do. Okay, we've okay. So and again, so the viewers know, if you look at, can I see the the card there real quick, please? Which one? The Bucklerman card. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So if we take a look at the Bucklerman card here, we, there we go. The lighting. This three plus means if there's three or more units of Bucklerman in the unit, it uses this stat line. If there's two or fewer, it uses this stat line. And because a support unit does not count towards that number, keeping the war surgeon in there would not have helped. That's why Matt decided to remove the war surgeon as a casualty so he could keep three standard bucklermen on the field of battle so that he can use this top stat line specifically because of the conquest value and just the better roles in general. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you have lost the combat by receiving more wounds. You mm -hmm. will be stressed by plus one. I can't take any more stress. Uh, you will. It'll. It'll go up and uh, above it. I'm already above it. Oh, okay. So yeah, since you're already above your mm -hmm. uh, your stress, uh, you'll take your demoralization roll, which will be your willpower. Keeping in mind that Drago is on the field, so you use his. You are successful. I will push you back. So you'll move back your first move value, which is a three. You can go ahead and move the, the non-leader. And they must finish their move as far as possible from the unit they are running or being pushed back by. And at this point, I am choosing not to follow up because yep. I want to now stay and hold that point because I have now completed an activation within three strides of an objective. There mm -hmm. is an enemy unit within three. So we will co compare conquest values, but it's now my orc hunter with attached wise main against Drago only. I have two. Yep. Drago has one. So this will now switch yep. to be my objective. Yep. They have activated and I stay put to you. Uh, the only people that haven't activated are my buckler men. Mm -hmm. What you can do, just so you know. I can rest. You can choose to rest. Any model or any unit, excuse me, I need yeah. to get used to saying unit because a unit can be yep, an actual yep, yep, multiple can. model unit yeah. or a single character. That's still considered a unit outwork yep. by himself. Yep, they can rest and... They and can rest and... Yeah. yeah, so if their morale equals... Or excuse me, if their stress equals their morale... I'm going to activate Drago. Rest is the only option at that point. I'm going to okay. activate Drago. Okay. What are we going to do? He is going to charge the... Uh, Hunters? The hunters. Awesome. Yeah. So he'll charge the hunters. Yep. All right. Gather up your dice, sir. And that's going to put a stress at the end of my turn. At the end. At the very end of the activation. That's correct. But I can still take a stress to you do You can my choose to because modify. Because I have a morale of three. So yep, I'm going to modify choose. to give myself one of those. I cannot modify, but I can right now spend a command token to set one of my dice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set the green one to those. Okay. Oh, boy. You did charge, so you get to the option of re-rolling if you like. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Because you've got three blocks. I do. That's inclusive of the automatic block that the wise main yeah, uh, no. adds. Yeah, I know. I didn't get through. Okay. I will uh, give you vulnerable, though. With my Oh, do you have to? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. With one of your switches? Yeah. With my switch. Uh, I am choosing not to activate any of my switches. I don't have any other switches. Because so uh, I, I could change mine to... Does he have any wounds on him, actually? One. How many left does he have? Three. He has three left. I blocked two. 
Ooh. Oh, then yeah, I'm not switching because I have the, again the ability to change yeah. my blocks. Yep, I know. Successes. That's one point. I have two blocks. Thank you. So. All right. So he has uh, reactivated. So mm -hmm. he will plus one stress now. Mm -hmm. So now he's at three. Yep. So I'll use the red one. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Okay. Uh, his morale it's, it's equal. Even yep. Steven. All right. Yep. Um, and then that's a tie. So it's a tie. So we sit happens. there and we do nothing. Yep. All right. Let's pull these dice out here real quick. Okay. That's the end of that. Is the end of the round. So yep. now we go to scoring. Okay. I now have one military point. So yep. it's now and one I to one. one. Yep. Uh, we go to mm -hmm. reducing stress. So you reduce stress by one. Yep. Of any unit that has previously activated. Reduce by up to two any unit that has not activated, mm -hmm. unless it is a demoralized unit. Those units do not reduce. And then the activations reduce. go away, right? Uh, next is before we do that, no model or no one left behind. No one left behind. Because you need to do that first and foremost. Because uh, <laughs> if you remove the activation tokens now, you won't know which. Profiles. Which Do you units. score before the no model but left behind or after? Yeah, before. Okay. And here's why. Uh, even though it wouldn't matter, you cannot flip an objective with no one left behind okay. because it doesn't count as an activation for your unit, and you can only choose or test to see if you have taken control of an objective at the end of the activation of a unit. No one left behind is not an activation. Okay. Let me see here. And their charge is 12, you said? Uh, the threat range is 12. It's truly a uh, charge range of 10 printed on the card. OK. Keep in mind one other thing here in a second. Because we are tied, you will be getting initiative to start the third round. That's OK. So uh, just keep, keep in mind you're, you know, I don't think it's set yourself up for whatever you'd like to do. Yeah, it's not going to matter. I was going to see if I could get out of his threat range, but I, I'm not going to be able to. I'm locked in combat. Oh, well, then, all right. I'm engaged. Yeah. And you so. get to activate first. So yep. if you charge in, yep. I have nothing to do because both of mine have activated. I believe Kay. that is all of That's yours. It. Yep. Now we remove activation tokens. Yep. Okay. We check for initiative because we are now tied. Mm -hmm. It moves over. We advance the end of round counter mm -hmm. by three in this case, because the yep. scenario counts for three turns per round. And then we advance the pointer to the next turn. All right. And you have initiative, so you get to declare which faction, which company will activate first for each of the turns. I, I, it makes perfect yep. sense. Hedge me. money. <laughs> OK, we're going to charge with my bucklermen, even though they're vulnerable. Vulnerability will not matter when you are attacking. It will only matter for you on a defense. Because well, you're super I am vulnerable, vulnerable yeah. so it will matter. Yep. This is where <laughs> this is a bad day for the orc hunters. Yep. Specifically because they're vulnerable and they will be engaged in with, in combat with more than one unit. So we're gonna get to see how that mechanic plays out. Yeah. All right. We gather the dice. I'm a red and three orange. I don't have any no modifiers. Modifiers. All right. I am going to. I'm going to modify. Mm -hmm. So that takes me to two. Mm -hmm. And adds in a red, and I have that as an automatic symbol. Now, because I am engaged with multiple units, I take away one die. Yep. Or one automatic symbol. Yeah. My which, choice. Which I'm going to keep. I want to keep the. Yeah. The one that's there. Now the rest get rolled, and then we'll deal with vulnerability yep. here in a second. Because that happens after the roll. Dang. All right. Not terrible. You have. There's my result set. Mm, you get to I'll... declare if you are. Yeah, I'm going to re roll. Okay. Okay. Now before we get to switches or anything else, because mm -hmm. my unit is vulnerable. You get to pick one of my dice that has a uh, a block symbol, a filled-in block symbol, and cancel it. That one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to ask which one you want. Yep. Yep. We're going to. It's gone. It's yep. canceled. That is how vulnerability works. Yeah. However, the token will not be removed from my profile card until the end of this activation. Yeah. Sure. So if you have a switch that says, "Add," you know, yeah, give your target vulnerable, it it. 
will essentially be negated for this turn because yep. I already have the state on me. Nope, I don't. Uh, switches to you. Yep, I'm going to use this empty to switch to grant myself a block. A block, all right. That's it. I am... This one does nothing for me. Let's That's one. see. <clears throat> you have one wound on a model already. Yep. And I have none. Yep. I could do... Oh man, this is. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be an orc. My Kay. switch is to change that out for that. Okay. All right. Because why not? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to take three wounds. I'm going to take three wounds. Yep. Well, I'm going well, to take two. Which means I'm going to lose a model. You're still going to lose a model. I'm going to lose one model and put a extra wound on the profile. Yep. I am going to push you back. No, you're not. No, I'm not. You can't be pushed back. Be, well, if I choose, yeah, I get the, I get the the option, uh, but because I lost the combat because you did uh, three wounds to me to the two that you took, I gain a stress which mm -hmm. takes me above my morale, mm -hmm. so I now need to make my willpower roll, mm -hmm. which gets very interesting. So the orc hunters have an orange by themselves, but the wise yeah. man because he has a plus it's yellow added, die yeah. adds to it. And you're, because you're okay. I have yep. that okay. one success there, I am good. Now is where you would declare if you're going to push me back or not. I'm going to say no. I'm, I'm going to stay put without adding a stress. I am going to. Uh, but because I attempted a demoralization roll, mm -hmm. you go down one. My yep. Well, it's not necessarily. You go down in to this the, case, to it's the, by one. Yeah. yeah, you put your stress yeah. equal to your um, unit morale. Okay, so because right now we'd be tied because I I'm down to two models, so I'm one in one. And mm -hmm. we would tie, and you're still at. I'm still at two. Yeah. Yeah, because it would be so you get. One. I'm going to spend my command, one of my command tokens okay. though, to activate the um, anvil. Mm -hmm. No, at the end of the activation of an allied unit, allied unit adds two to his conquest value to dispute the control of an objection. Uh, so Objective. I go yep. Up. yep. Good job. You just went up to four. Yep. Well, three on the yep. Bucklerman plus Drago's yep. one. Yep. So flip that to my two. And they have activated. Awesome. Well done. Mm -hmm. You'll see. You're probably seeing that the orcs are. They hit a lot harder, but Hedgemony has little tricks like that yeah. to be a lot more strategic. Yep. You know, and specifically yep. go after the objectives and, and yep. flip those. All right. I am going to choose. Oh, because at the end of the activation of yep, your unit, you already did it. Mm -hmm. Because the orc hunters have been. Um, yep. Impacted by the vulnerability state. It is now removed. Yeah. Al Bork is going to activate mm -hmm. and charge Drago in the back. Absolutely. Because that's what he deserves. Again, just for the sake of checking. Yes, he's in range. Does uh, Facing doesn't matter, though, right? In this no, game? facing does not matter. Yeah. Okay. All right. Gather up our dice. Mm -hmm. This is now going to be a very interesting <laughs> battle. Because if I remember correctly, yeah, Drago's already engaged with the Orc Hunters because that was the first yeah. move. <clears throat> yep. So one of your dice you'll choose will be negated and removed. I'm gonna. Well, uh, sorry, one of your dice or are you cycles. are you doing any? Oh, uh, am I gonna modify? Are you gonna modify? That's where we start. I will absolutely be modifying. Okay. I am also gonna modify. Ooh, I forgot I have the. Sword of the Sun. While you have damage, you gain Dispel. We don't need to worry about that right now. Plus, you may add yellow to your attack and defense rolls. This is going to hurt. Uh, so, yes, I will I will add stress. I have stress. Okay, I'm going to take out my black dice for being engaged. He's not vulnerable. He has no states on him. Nope. Right. It's respectable, but not what I needed. I am going to reroll that. Plus that, and then because I modified, we also have that. Okay, so now we go to. Yeah, you smoked him. <clears throat> switches. Mm -hmm. I will add two stress by using the two hollow successes. Mm -hmm. So he's plus two stress. To my guy? To your guy. Okay. So your target suffers one stress, and that's spending one of them, and I had yeah. two of it. Mm hmm. 
uh, I will use the the two specials. So essentially, I'm going to scrape the two yellow dice to cancel one block from your target and add one success to your roll. So that just went to that. That is all of my switches. Do you have any switches? No. Nope. Okay, so Only combat one. resolution is yep. five. Yep. Minus so the two, two, so you'll so take three. three. Which is going to kill him. All right. When a unit is killed outright in close combat, you get to declare the move action for free. Okay. Uh, I am going to just... So I, that's both values. So you could, I could move yeah. him three and then two. Mm -hmm. But because I want to flip-flop this, yep. I'm just going to have him kind of go there. Okay. At the end of it, again, we check because I'm ending my activation within three of the objective. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's also an enemy unit within three. We're going to check the total conquest values. Uh, demoralized units do not add their conquest values, nor can they capture objectives, just so yeah. everybody is aware. We don't have it Kay. here, but I just want to make sure it's called out. Sure. Uh, I have a total of two. I only have one. One. So that will flip. Yep. They have. He has activated. Okay, it's to me. It is We're to you. Activate the Frostfire Herald. Who is going to move? Move. Well, no, move because it's just. Well, just yeah. You're into, declaring move once. Yep. So into that's both values. With, into contact with that. Then we are going to attempt to persuade, make a whip test for Ah, uh, Yes, because that, that token mm -hmm. represents uh, an individual yeah. over there named Layla. Yep. You know, unfortunately, we, I don't want to read all of it because nope, I want nope. anybody but this, who's watching this would to read go forward the narrative. For, this would go forward for another game later, so I might as well try it. So I'll make a whip test. His is three orange. Now, before rolling, mm -hmm. you may spend one command token to add one success to your roll. You can only do this once. So if you have multiple command tokens, you can't, you know, spend three to add three auto successes. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that okay. to so add you have a an success. automatic success. There we go. Right. So you've got those two plus the third one. So that means yep. you've got the, the higher level. Okay, you get the event three marker. Yep. On your profile. Yep. And you've gained a specific item for the narrative log yep. called the Copper Key, which will come into play in the next yep. scenario. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's his turn. And right. move blue because she takes off. Yep. That is his go. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we move the turn counter up one. Yep. Ooh, this is interesting. So we've got two full turns left here. I'm going to activate Albork mm -hmm. and declare rest. Okay. So that removes all stress mm -hmm. and any number of mm -hmm. states that I wish to. So he is no longer vulnerable and his stress is now nil. Okay. Yours. We're going to go ahead and attack with my Bucklerman. I mean, they're going to take a stress for it because they've already activated. And I am at half, so I use the lower number, or lower so uh, profile. So do I. <clears throat> uh, you have no modifiers. I uh, cannot modify because I am already equal to my morale with my Can stress. Can I choose who I want to attack between them? No, because I'm only engaged with him. Never mind. No, I mean, you're engaged with two models, but I declare who's... Right. You're engaged no, with one I'm unit. Not, I'm not... Correct. Yes, you're engaged yeah, with one, no. one unit to one unit. Yep. <laughs> so because we started engaged... Yeah, I don't get to re-roll. There's no re-roll declaration. Yep. Doesn't do anything. Uh, you would declare switches first. I don't have any. You don't have I any. opens. Uh, I have some switches... You could just... I'm going to give you vulnerable. Okay, or you could just go to... If you switch oh. those all to... Right, but that's the first one, is I'm giving you vulnerable. Yeah. Oh, wait, they it's already had it, right? They already yeah. have vulnerable, so it doesn't matter. No. I could switch, so you have one coming in. Uh, Yeah. 
I will switch this one out to be a hit. Yeah. So if you, I'm just you saying, take if one, you, I take one. Right, but if you switch your, can you? You can't switch the other one. Just I the, could. You can only switch one. I mean, you, that one doesn't count. Co correct. I, they, yeah. I, I can switch as many as I want, but it is only the filled in. Yeah. Standard blocks. I was gonna say if you could do two more damage, you wipe out the unit. But well, you can let's only do this. Do. I will swap that out then. We'll do it that way. I'll do two. So you'll take two. I'll take one. You you'd have to do one more damage. I know, and that's fine. But I'm still gonna yeah. win the combat. Yeah. So you take two, which removes a model. Mm -hmm. I will take a wound, which, which removes, removes one of my models. Mm -hmm. Boom. Guess what? That just freed up Albork yep. for charging if you're still there. <laughs> um, you are. You have lost the combat, so mm -hmm. you add one stress. <clears throat> yep. I got to make a... Now you take your demoralizing check because you are over. Mm -hmm. Your stress is greater than your morale. Okay. You pass, so you're going to stay there. Mm -hmm. um, I will push you back. Yep, you will. <laughs> and uh, they will now gain... Oh, they would have gained the one stress now for having activated, but you already made the demoralizing check. Yeah. So it then, because they attempted the check, it's yeah. done and gone. They yep. Come back equal to their morale. Yep. All right. Oh, uh, it's you. My activation. Elborg's charging. <laughs> my well. Uh, does Elborg charge? Hold on. Oh wait, we need to look at something, don't we? You charge with your orcs. They haven't activated yet. They're not going to take any more stress. Finish him off. He's only got one wound. Right, I'm just trying to figure out event four. <laughs> Did we mess something up? No, I don't think so. Hmm. It actually just happened because of your Frostfire Herald. Yeah. Well, it's, it depends Place on... Place the event four marker. It was after you did your... Uh, no. Yes? Okay. It says if it's not already in play, place event four marker. Mm-hmm. Which, for some reason, I am not finding event four marker. Okay. It's event five now. <laughs> yeah. One position ahead. Or did I give you four? No, I didn't. No, I've got three. No, oh, four. Okay. One position ahead of the current one on the turn. And you did that last turn. So it'll happen yeah. at the end of this, this turn. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, we just completely almost forgot about that. No, it would be on nine. I did that, this activation. You couldn't have because you just activated your... Oh, yeah, uh, you're right. Buckler man. Yeah, when we get to when event four happens, I'll read what okay. happens there. <clears throat> but that doesn't happen until okay. after. So, orc hunters are going to charge. Yeah. They're in range, so I'm just going to... I'll just put them over here because okay. it's easier. All right, so we gather up. Because I'm yeah. at the lower value, I'm at half strength. Uh, I cannot modify. I cannot either. I am not changing that out. Okay. I'm going to spend <laughs> both my switches. Uh, he was vulnerable. Did you remove one die? Oh, I did not. Well, so, okay. Yeah, just reroll. I block one. Okay. You killed me. Uh, because of that, now they get the... Move action for free. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a one time. So I'm going to move because he's, you know, essentially a token at this point. Yeah. Because the leader goes here. It's the only thing I have is that's that that axe is so low to the ground. Yeah. That it slightly interferes with the base. There we go. And then he can come anywhere yep. he'd like. Yep. As long as within two. Mm -hmm. They have now activated. Okay. Because we hit the end of the turn, now any of the uh, the markers that are on there, yeah. if, back to what you said yeah. previously about, you know, if you did it in yep. eight and it would go with a end Nine. of round, yep. end of round is always the last token if there's yep. multiple in the stack. You just okay. always put it to the bottom. Okay. The hands of the mirror 
So this lake basically just became alive. There's tentacles and stuff shooting out of there to attack us. I'm sorry, hands. There's hands. Okay. Let's see. It's represented by the lake template. Behavior table is below, which is over here on the card. So it's on page 40. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it activates right now. Okay. Jeez, oh, it has a range of 30. Yeah, it does. Holy cow. So the hands of the mirror do not require a line of sight for their attacks. Hands of the mirror do not push back nor pursue their targets. So you roll an orange to select the unit that meets the requirement below in the chart to see who it attacks. Yeah. You can attack almost anybody on the field. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and uh, roll the orange for me since you have um, initiative. So that's a hollow <laughs> success. So it attacks me. It will attack a spellcaster character. And it's, it's me. attack. That's me. Is because it's at range. You know, yep. it, that's how you, yep. you declare, you decide if you're using yep. the melee or yep. the ranged is two red, two yellow, and an auto success. Hit. Yep. Uh, go ahead and roll your defense. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got an auto block. And there was an auto success in there as well. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, five. I think your spellcaster's done, sir. Yep. That's it. Uh, take uh, number three, mm -hmm. and it just goes next to his base before he is removed. Yeah. God, yeah, those it. things are brutal. Holy cow. That's it. That's game. Uh, well, oh, you can try to get no, over actually, it. No, actually, no. It, it actually is the game because there is a specific mm -hmm. uh, ending. End of scenario. The game ends at the end of round three when one of the companies has no units left on the battlefield, mm -hmm. or when all the units from one of the companies are demoralized. Yep. So it ends... Right there. Right there. Well done. The scoring will occur, because we'll treat it as if it's the end of the mm -hmm. round. Uh, I would get another military point. Nobody gains the arcane points from that, because it's yep. laying there on the ground. So it's technically a uh, two, two to, to one. one military point that gets yep. marked down and carried over into the, the next, next piece there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well done. Well done. Thanks, everybody.